Okay guys, uh, not a big one today. Just going to install a CTEC battery charger to our jet ski. Uh, this is one I had in my previous ski uh, that I removed when I sold to a family member. Uh, they also chose a CTEC, the exact same one, to install into that ski. Um, I've run these on a few of my previous skis now. Um, they're bloody good chargers. Um, not sponsored by them or anything, obviously, or this would be brand new. Um, but they have various options for their harness system. So you have alligator clips. Um, these that you can permanently install and then um, a quick connect system like so. With a rubber plug to protect it when it's out in the water. And then they also have a flush mount one that you can actually put, um, I don't know, in the lid of your glove box or something like that. Um, but this is the system I always go with. Um, so I'm just going to clean up these connections here and then we'll get into the install. Okay, so just with a 10mm socket, we're going to let go of the negative terminal first. Then our positive terminal. A lot of the times when you take these bolts out, because they're so bloody short, the threaded block inside the terminal drops to the bottom and you can't pick them up again with these short bolts, um, especially if you've stacked this terminal on top of the other. So a little trick that I use for that is to wind this back into the block until it lifts up, like so. And then if you just use like a lollipop stick or a popsicle stick or something, you can break that down. I'm just using a nail, I don't suggest that. Um, you can slide that in through so like so, so that it's underneath the block. Then remove the bolt. Like so. And then you can slide that right through. So now that's lifted our threaded plate up. Now we're going to connect our positive terminal first. Once we've grabbed the block, we slide that nail back out, and now we can tighten that down. Just enough, it doesn't need to be crazy. We'll do the same thing on our negative terminal. to block up, slide our nail in, start unwinding that bolt. Okay. okay, take our nail out. Okay. Okay, now that that's connected, I'm just going to get some spray to protect all this from corrosion. Okay, until I shoot up the road to go and get some more XPS, I'm just going to use WD 40. Okay. 
um, I'll just tuck this away somewhere it can't bounce around too much. It's not that important to be completely honest, but I'll just tuck that down here. So these clips can only go in one way and then the charging phase will begin. There you go. Alrighty, well I hope that helped guys. Thanks for watching.